Hey guys, up Sander making a, another video. Um, same location this time, pretty much just doing prayer here. Um, although the thing you'll notice from the last video is that I've actually gone through most of the uh, debones. I think I have like under 2,000 left now, which is really nice. Um, I was going to buy more than that, but I had. To, uh, I also bought 2,000 house tabs, um, so that's like that was quite a bit of money, like 900 each or something, which I think was a pretty good price anyway. But um, yeah, so it was like 1.8 mil. And then I have a little bit of money left, which I could buy more debones with, um, but we'll see about that. You know, my goal is 99, but I might just keep that money and then just earn more money than buy uh, the debones one at, like all at once if I can, instead of just spending like another two mil on some debones. Um, really close to 96, I'll probably get it within this video. Um, I didn't plan that; it's just kind of the way it worked out. Um, I was going to record this video earlier today, then I didn't get around to it, and then I figured, okay, I'll record it now. Um, so anyway, one thing I want to talk about today, or well, I guess the primary thing, is um, how did old school RuneScape handle rare items correctly in terms of holiday items, like party hats? Like, I don't think people are kind of like, okay, first of all, this is all in like retrospect, I guess you could say. I don't think that anything could really change at this point. And, you know, it's fine how it, it's like, you know, okay how it is now, which is, I guess, what we're going to talk about. Um, I need another ring of dueling. Although, by the way, I learned about this earlier today. Apparently you can, um, I probably could have figured this out, but on a PvP, you can go on a PvP world and just bring a bunch of, like, law runes and an air staff and just teleport to Camelot. And because on the PvP worlds, the banks are, like, right there, um, it's actually faster than teleporting to Castle Wars a hundred times. Um, so... I might do that when I buy more dragon bones, but I don't think I have... I might have some law runes. I can actually check that out. Um, I'm not sure if I have enough to do that like for a long time, but it's only one law rune per teleport, so um, I, I think it would be notably fa faster, so I might look into that. You'd lose an inventory space, too, but I don't think that's a big deal. But so anyway, um, when Old School was being released, like it was February 22nd, I think uh, 2013 now? That sounds right. Um, old school being around almost two years old. If it's 2012, I'd be shocked. Um, so yeah, but the big question was because it's everyone it's like starting fresh. You know, everyone started level three. You know, all level ones except HP. Um, the question was like, how would the rare items be distributed, or you know, yeah, distributed. Um, usually I don't say it like that, but whatever. Um, and like obviously like there's no way that they were going to be valuable right off the bat. Um, or actually, I don't know, it was a, there's actually a bit of history behind this then, I guess. Um, basically, they were released over the summer and in randomly, like, spawning locations. Like, you would just... I have a video on me finding a white party hat. Um, they were just, like, randomly spawned on the ground in, like, a bunch of different places, and they would change the places, and they actually were valuable at the time when that happened. Like, if you had a party hat or whatever, you could sell that. I think I sold my white party hat for, like, 1.6 mil or whatever. Um, it might, it's something over a mil. It's in that video. Maybe I'll link that in the description, uh, just to give you guys some context. There we go, 96 prayer. Not really a big deal. Um, wow, quite a lot of XP to go. Still 125 combat, so that's not changing until I get 98, I'm pretty sure. Um, but so anyway, yeah, they were released over the summer, and then um, they were worth a little bit, and then what they decided to do, I'm not sure if they decided to do this before, but um, they decided that for every holiday event, you would get two of all of the tradable rare items. So that means basically that they're worthless, because every Christmas you can get two of each party hat, um, you can get two Santa hats, and, like you can continually doing that, you can make new accounts, if you really want to go crazy and, and get two party hats. So they're not actually that rare anymore because everyone has a set of party hats and everything. I mean, people still buy and sell them which for like 30k, which I don't really see the point. But basically, they're not rare. And by the way, I th this is, I'm mostly talking about the tradable ones. Uh, the untradable ones, I'm not really too concerned about like keeping them rare because, like, I mean, I have some pretty... Like, in, in the main game, I have an Easter ring which is like incredibly rare nowadays, but like, I don't know, I, I don't mind that they're really releasing those every year. At least I think, I mean, I didn't really, I don't, haven't really thought about it that much, I don't know. Maybe it would be 
okay if they only released them once and then you know only the old old school RuneScape players had those tr untradeable items. But the untradeable items are really not a big deal. So I'm mostly referring to the tradable ones. So basically, the way it works now, every single Christmas you get two of all the party hats. Every single Halloween you're going to get two of all the pumpkins and the masks, and they're all noted. Um, every Easter you get you know whatever the Easter eggs. So they're they're basically worthless in the game, and everyone has them. So they're actually they kind of lose a little bit of their novelty. And I'm okay with this, but like I was thinking about it, like maybe they could actually make they they could have done it differently. And I mean, there's a lot of debate about this at the time. Nowadays it's kind of it's just how it is, so no one really talks about it. But I was thinking that maybe what they should have done is for the um, the first year of old school being out, which has already happened, of course, um, they could distribute the they could basically distribute the party hats at the first old school Christmas, um, distribute the masks at the first old school Halloween, and they could distribute the Easter eggs or whatever at the first old school Easter, and then from in future Easter events like. On Christmas this year, for example, you wouldn't get those untradeable items. You would you wouldn't get the tradable items. You would only get the untradable ones. So the only people who would have the trade who would get the tradable um, items were the people who were around for the first year of old school for the first batch of events. Um, hopefully, you guys understand what I'm saying. Basically, they my idea is that they only should have gave the tradable ones out during the first time all those events happen and not give them out every consecutive year and then they would actually be discontinued so they would actually keep their value because now the only way to, the only way to get one would be to buy one and as bef where it is now in the in the actual real life in the game um, kind of a funny statement but you can just if you don't have a party yet you don't have to buy one you could just wait till next Christmas it might be you know now it's gonna be over a year um, you could actually still do the Christmas event, but let's just say a month from now you want a party hat and you don't want to pay for one. You could just wait a year and you'll get, or 11 months or whatever, and you'll get your party hat. But maybe they should have done it where, like I said, you only get it the first batch and then they would actually become valuable. And like, I don't know, there's a lot of people who played during the first year of Old School RuneScape and there, now there's still a lot of people playing. Um, so I don't think they would be that valuable, but they would you know just like in the main game they would increase in value over time and they would you know become rare people would quit uh, people would like alk them or whatever and they would actually become rare and they probably wouldn't be worth that much because like I said there's so many people playing there at that first year that there would be plenty in circulation but you know five years from now assuming old school is still around I think it will be um, they would be worth something so I don't know I I worry that I explained that poorly but I don't think it's very complicated to understand but uh, yeah so I don't know what do you guys think about that do you think old school um, handled rares incorrectly that now pretty much everyone has all of them and they're very cheap and they're not worth anything and kind of the novelty is gone I mean they still look cool you see right now I'm wearing the white party hat but you know if this was actually rare maybe it would be a little more exciting to walk around with the white party hat um, you know compared to just how it is now so I don't know just just my thoughts um, so yeah, that's about it for this conversation. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I was very happy with the previous video that uh, a lot of you guys are still watching, and um, plenty of comments to read as well. Even if, even though I've been gone for a while. Um, in terms of other things, I went to very happy about yesterday. I went to a um, $500 pot bonus tournament, and I got third place. Um, I lost to G Money twice. He's a very notable Falco main in the area. I don't know what he did there, and I made a uh, $75 for third place, so that was actually my biggest win in, in monetary-wise so far in Melee, so I'm very happy about that. I play Super Smash Bros. Melee competitively, and I have another tournament tomorrow, but um, I don't know, the thing that's nice about old school is that I can kind of come back to this game, and it's it's not really stressful. I mean, you know, I'm just doing the D-Bones here, like, people get stressed about RuneScape, I really don't see how, it's a very chill game, like, I mean, you could die and lose a bunch of stuff, and that's pretty stressful. And, you know, if you go staking or PKing, I guess that could be stressful as well. But overall, the game's not very stressful, so it's a good game to fall back on. Uh, but, yeah, I have another weekly tournament tomorrow that I'm going to, but I'm um, looking forward to finishing up Prayer as well, although there's still a long way to go. 
because I have to earn more money as well. I mean, I sold the Bandos to assets, but I don't think I'm going to sell the uh, Saradome and God Sword. So there's going to be more money that I have to make. I don't really. I could figure out the math. Um, I'll probably have to make somewhere around 10 to 20 mil. That's a rough, rough estimate, but it could be wildly off. But I'll probably go to God Wars for that. I'm not really sure. Um, if any of you guys are high level and you want to try God Wars with me, let me know. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, also, I'm very, very happy the clan chat is getting very big again. Um, Andrew AJT62 is the clan chat. Um, it's the same as my YouTube name. It's not the same as my main RuneScape name. So if you want to know what my clan chat is, just look at my YouTube name, copy that into the join clan chat, and you'll be in it. Andrew AJT62. And there you go. Boom. We've got a lot of people in here right now. A lot of regulars, too. A lot of new members, so it's all good. Um, yeah, so that's, that's really nice as well. So anyway, guys, I guess I'll wrap this video up. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, of course. And uh, follow me on Twitter down below. Also, follow me on Twitch. Like I said, I've been streaming. Um, well, I said this in previous videos. I uh, stream Ocarina of Time any percent speedruns pretty often with commentary. So, I mean, and if people want to ask any unrelated questions, you know, about RuneScape too, that's always fine. So, follow me on Twitch down below as well. And maybe I'll stream RuneScape, I'm not really sure. Um, you know, if I go to God Wars or something, it's it's worth streaming, you know, doing Dragon Bones. Um, I don't know how many people really want to watch that, but who knows, maybe I'll even think about that sometime. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the clan chat, and I'll see you in the, see you in the next video. And like I said, let me know in the comments how should old school handle how should old school have handled rares? Did Jagex handle it correctly, or was my idea good, or do you have another idea that's even better? You know, maybe everyone doesn't deserve a rare. I don't know. Maybe only certain people should have gotten them, just based on luck or skill or whatever competitions. Let me know in the comments. I'm interested to know uh, what you guys have to think. See you guys later.